All right, this is your Home Connections page 99. Uh, this was your Wednesday Home Connections page, so I'm going over the answers with you. Um, I'm going to go through and read the directions first, so if you haven't done it um, or you didn't know how, you can listen to me read the directions and go over the example, and then you can try out A and B by yourself. And then same for part um, for number two, if you didn't understand how to do it, you could watch me go through the example in A and then try B, C, D, E, and F on your own, okay? The goal is for us to learn. It is not just to copy down my answers. So if something isn't making sense, listen to how I explain it. And if it still doesn't make sense, then leave me a comment down below and I can help you out with that, okay? All right, it says, label the dimensions and area of each rectangle. So we know that the dimensions are high, how high and how wide. And then the area is in the inside, how many total square units. Then it says, write two or more, so you can do more, different equations to show how someone could find the area. So for this first example, it shows that this is three high, one, two, three, that's correct. And it's four wide, one, two, three, four. Wide, it can also be referred to as the base. So I might say base, I might say width, um, but they both mean the same thing. It's just how wide it is across, okay? And then they're saying the area is 12 square units, that there are 12 total squares in here. So here are the equations that they used. They did three plus three plus three plus three, right? Because we think about three plus three plus three plus three, and they say that's 12. You can also do four plus four plus four equals 12. So we see four plus four plus four equals 12. Or you can do multiplication, three times four. It's also showing that they're breaking it up into a group. So three times two plus three times two. Here's where they're getting that. Here's a group of three times two. So this is three, two times, and they're showing that that's six. And then here's another group of three times two, which is also six, okay? So if you didn't know how to do this one and that example, me explaining it helped you, I want you to go ahead and try this on your own now. If you're done and you're just checking your answers, let's keep going, okay? This one, our height, how high it is, one, two, three. So our first dimension is three. And then the width or the base, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm going to start with addition. I'm going to do 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That's one of my equations. Oops, plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Okay, so you could count by threes to get to this answer. You could also group it, but I know the answer is 18. Okay, I could also do 6 plus 6 plus six to figure out how many total squares are in the inside or that area. Six plus six plus six equals 18. I can also just do the multiplication equation, three times six, that will tell me how many are in the inside, equals 18. You could also do six times three. I will show you with this one how you could break it into groups, okay? This one, one, two, three, four, five high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wide. Or the base is eight, okay? Oh, and I forgot with this one. The area equals 18 square units, okay? So for this one, I could do one, two, three, four, five, eight, five times. So eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, plus eight. If I didn't know the answer to that, I could break it into groups. Eight plus eight equals 16, plus 16, plus another eight. I could also count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. Um, then I could do just the multiplication equation. Five times eight equals 40 or eight times five. And then I can show breaking it up into a group. So we could say, if I split it in half, 
this is five four times, five four times. So if I already know five times four equals 20, then I know this is five times four equals 20. So my equation would look like this. I would have to do parentheses to separate it, five times four plus another five times four. And the reason we do this is so that we're not saying five times four plus five times four without the parentheses. These tell us I have to solve this first and I have to solve this first and then I take my answers and I add them. So 20 plus 20 equals 40, okay? It says how many do we have to use? We have to do two. So if you did an addition and a multiplication, you are correct. If you wanted to challenge yourself and try and split it into groups, great. You can do it a different way too. All right, this one says fill in the missing number in each fact, then write a related division equation. So it shows us for this example, it was three times what equals 18. We saw that fact up here. So we know three times six equals 18. And then our division equation, the biggest number is always first divided by three equals six, okay? So this one, we have what times six equals 48, okay? We know the answer is eight. And then we take our biggest number to write that division equation, 48 divided by eight equals six. Can you put a six here and an eight here? Yes, but that biggest number always has to go first, excuse me. Three times what equals 24, our answer is eight. And then we take that biggest number for the division equation, 24 divided by three equals eight. Again, you can say eight here and three, as long as that biggest number is first. Four times what equals 28, okay? That answer is seven. 28 divided by seven equals four. What times nine equals 45? That answer is five. 45 divided by nine equals five is our division equation, or you could say 45 divided by five equals nine. Nine times what equals 90? It's 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's how we get that. 90 divided by 10 equals nine, or 90 divided by nine equals 10. And then eight times what equals 32? That answer is four. 32 divided by four equals eight, okay? Nice job, third graders. Check your work. Remember, you can always pause the screen if I'm going too fast. If something didn't make sense, oh, I just noticed that. Um, if something doesn't make sense, go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comments box below and I can help you with that. Bye.